Hello everybody, Jet here, and welcome back to my Parthia playthrough, where we've just come out of a couple of annoying wars. I started one over here to try and catch these things for a mission, and failed, annoyingly, uh, because Moria declared war on me just after we'd started. We did get some Persian territory, because they are allied, uh, but we're now dealing with the remnants of that. We gained a little bit of territory here, but not nothing major. Um, I think what I want to do is I want to build up my defences against Path against Moria a little bit more because they they managed to break through a bit more than I would have liked. So I'm actually going to get a few extra uh, fortifications around here because we've got plenty of income. Let's also check my economy. I did. I thought I tweaked it anyway. Apparently I didn't, or I already put it back at the end of the war. So we're going to get some extra fortifications going. in some of these places, just to make it a bit harder for them to push in uh, afterwards. And we are going to, once we've retreated, obviously we are going to get my uh, all of these guys disbanded and our income flying again. I do currently have too many diplomatic relations. I am aware of that. That is fine. We are trying to do this. So what do I still need? Uh, at least one of the following must be true. Hmm. At least one Parthian deity from the new religion. So I need to swap to that. Uh, okay. That's going to hurt, but we can afford that just now. Right. I don't want to change that one. So Parthian. Uh, Zoroastrianism. Food and Freeman happiness. Food and... St oh. Wages reductions. Good. Hmm. See, I don't really want to tweak either of them because the citizen happiness is very nice. So I think I'm going to go for... That one. Even more noble happiness, which is really good. Uh, well, but, but to start with, the passive is reducing the upkeep. I don't really need the pop growth at the moment. I can always switch them back later on. Plus, I control that settlement, which means I can put things in it. There we go. Oops, I didn't actually change it. Changing it actually helps. There we go. And I can now embrace Zoroastrianism. Uh, it takes 120 months. Does give us some stability negatives, but we can soak it. You guys have been asking for this, so we're going to do it. A lot of characters will change. We will lose loyalty from people so it could be a bit painful but let's do this we have embraced zoroastrianism which will hopefully help with the friendliness of some of these people and yeah for now i think i am going to dissolve this alliance because i actually kind of do want some extra stability to be able to push this up And we, we are going to have to do a little bit of bribery. Oof. Let's just try and make friends with the remaining two. There we go. That'll do for now. We should be able to get my armies down shortly. Spend money to bring him back in line. Obviously, my political influence is all but gone now, but that's fine. I say it's just 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 gonna help us there. Oh, and the other thing I can do, which I need to remember to do, is now in Persopolis. Where is Persopolis? I can actually put things. Oh, I need to do it from the rigid screen. I can put things in. Oh, into yes, please.
Yeah, I'm gonna remove both of those. Does give me a little aggressive expansion, but I don't mind, so. Oh. Hmm. Why can I not put the other things in there? Is there a religious site here? Ah! So how do I take it out? Because I really want that. Uh, as part of my religion. Hmm. Is there a ah, holy sites? There we go. Now we want to put that in one of my in the holy site I control. Now, do I only get this? I don't know if you guys know. Do I only get access to this when it's used? I guess we'll find out shortly. Happiness. Let's just keep an eye on that, see what they do and what happens when we do it. Does it make a difference? I don't know. There we go. So we, we're going to deal with some stuff, but it some stability issues. But it's, it, it'll go back up quickly enough. Let's get rid of all these mercs. Disband all the levies. I want another fortification here. I want lots of fortification. Oh, we're already building one there. That's fine. We got two there. That's good. Um, loads there. That's good. Two there. And we'll have two there. Damn it. It was always going to be problematic, but embracing Zoroastrianism should, in general, help. It means most people are of the correct religion, which I believe stops some of the negatives we had. Hmm. Oh, I have some free investments, though. I've got loads of free investments, though. I am actually going to save them for missions, because I know what happens when I waste them. Um. Need to make these people happy. Don't have anywhere near enough money, but grand theatres are going to be the way to do that. They're mostly Parthian already. What is causing all negatives here? They are the wrong culture being the big negatives. 
And as I said, a couple of thingies will help that. So there we go. Let's speed up the money. Uh, oh, I'll take the manpower hit. So we lost dates, and dates are well worth it for that commerce income. There we go. Hmm. As soon as I can afford it, I'm going to pop that. We have been working towards this. So I can go for either of these. Political influence is nice. Citizen output is nice. Yeah. Uh, pop promotion speed is good. Uh, that's good. And then we're in a good position for our cultures. Getting there slowly. Doing Basically, we're increasing the happiness of all, my integra all of my unintegrated cultures as much as possible. Let's get that Grand Theatre underway. Mm. So many disloyal provinces, but some of them are getting better now. That way will work. Somebody else loyal, but I need to assign somebody else. That's fine. There we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know I have a bad research ratio. We're doing fine, though. I mean, we are chunky now. We are slowly getting there. I know. Granting holding did nothing for him. Boo, pause. Glory! Up the stability, because stability is our big issue just now. So anything we can do to push stability up right now is good. Die, you barbarian scum. Right. I want to move some people around to get some more colonization happening. I'm not going to be able to do any because I need to convert them first. Because the issue now being with them is they're the wrong re wrong religion. It's fine. We, we've got there. People will slowly convert. I can make an effort to convert up here. At some point. And there's not many pops, so actually their conversion, while it will take a while, will chain quite well. No, the throne. Our, our king is dead. All hail the king. She balances him reasonably. This guy is at least young. He's got decent stats, actually. So yeah. I'm happy with that. Not great for our stability, but... Take the hit. Ooh. He can be sorted with holding, hopefully. can be bribed. There we go. Slowly getting there. Exotic gifts to try and win her over. So I need to up my stability before we consider any wars again. Uh, I'll spend some money. I don't want to waste political influence at the moment because I'd actually like to spend some on sorting ourselves. These are our citizens. I love the fact Bactria is slowly crumbling. 
Patriot has slowly, is slowly being weakened. Where is the revolt? Because the revolt just lost territory. The Persian revolt lost territory to the Persian Empire. <laughs> but I like having that because having them there as a little thing is just ridiculously weakening. I mean, we're watching the Persian Empire implode repeatedly. Have the Bosphorans actually taken Armenian territory? Oh, wow. I will join their war against the Armenian revolt. I lost my wood supply. And whether I will die instead. Oh, it's the Armenian Revolt. Sorry, I thought it was the Bosphoran Revolt they'd asked me to go against. Never mind, some of them can be disbanded then. Which ones do I want to disband? Oh, I can't while I'm at war. Never mind. No! We lost a governor. It's absolutely perfect. Oh, God damn it. And we're potentially about to have something go off in Assyria. Thankfully, this one seems to not be going wrong. I think Armenia may be in its death throes, if I'm honest. Let the man travel. Let's build some more buildings, some more. Grand Theatres. Because they really do help with pushing out Parthian culture. They're obviously not in the places where I've already picked up the cultures, but that's fine. How are we doing with our cultures? They're actually really happy. I could theoretically get away with integrating somebody else, though. Actually... My unintegrated cultures are getting really happy now as well, so I don't need to. The only real reason to do it. Yep. Annoy the Babylonians, even though there's quite a lot of them, but it increases my thing. My culture. The only reason to really do it is it's if I need troops quickly, so I'm more than happy to leave that for now. Oh, I don't like having this somebody low. But you gotta do what you gotta do. Oh. Oh. Bugger. So Moria has gone back to war with us. I mean, thankfully, we are already relatively raised. I mean, I have a feeling Moria is not going to actually do so well out of this. 
Of course they waited until just after I'd spent my money. Still going down. I can't build there, that's the problem. These guys are going to wait there while everything else positions itself. God damn, Moria. I mean, don't get me wrong, they've, they've called. They've called the storm down on themselves. Um, you guys are going to push straight out there, actually. Basically, I'm going to start moving everybody to merge there. Because if I can take territory quickly before they really rally, that would be perfect. Again, it's not ideal, because it's not quite where I wanted to be, but... I can afford a little bit of tyranny to keep that pushing down. And we've got... we've been building our defences, so I'm not overly worried about that. There we go. Gotta be some other mercs I can hire around here. This is where the main thrust of the war is going to end up being, so. Obviously, I need to wait while my troops get in position. I need to be able to. Can I actually build rows yet? I think I need to start working on the Royal Army's mission tree so I can actually start getting some vassal swarms built. got reasonable forces there but they're not really doing much aggressive just yet that's the thing actually I'm, I'm I don't want to get cocky but I think I'm in a good position they are however bringing up a hell of a lot of forces I want to mass there to try and push them out of my territory this is going to be fought in a very defensive manner I am aware this place is about to I want it to break so I can bring them back in. Right now it's all about the bribes. I'm sorry. Because I hear rebels, I can bring it straight back into the fold. Mercs, mercs, mercs. Hmm. <laughs> Screw you, you're already disloyal, I want the money. Right now I'm keeping the money because we are currently in the midst of the war. I don't think I can hire any more mercs, I think I can only have three stacks at the moment. It 
said, we are probably in a position I can afford to try and risk push shortly. These guys are going to go straight into them. I'm not waiting. I know it's a bit of... It's not that much of the risk, to be fair. Pause. Ah, actually, I need to split you. There we go. A little more territory broke off than I expected. That's fine. I don't need to call any allies into that war. I want them in this war. That's right. Run the crap away. Then these guys are actually going to sweep down and try and trap them in there. This time, we're not going to make the mistake of trying to siege down here, but we're going to go straight up there with when my forces are massed. guys to mass there for now because I don't want my little armies to get caught on their own as they're moving through. Let's smash this force apart. Okay, and that's what I wanted. We're slowly getting there. One more and my unintegrated cultures are going to be really happy. See, that's what I was a bit worried by. My allies are getting a bit caught there. That's fine. It's fine. Everything is fine. <laughs> I think Moria is regretting this war so far. We're doing well. We are being carpet sieged a bit over there. I'm so. I wish I could help Armenia, but I can't. Go clear them out. We're going to catch them in there, or there. We're actually going to catch them there, so smash everything in. Oh, maybe not, but let's try and catch them there then. And then we're going to move on to here. To another Alexandria. That war is over, I'm just going to give it a second tick through. <laughs> yes. First thing first, let's get that done. Both those things, because they actually give us loyalty. Didn't really want to do the cultural thing, but yeah, we're getting a conversion building there. Because again, it's about the provincial loyalty. 81k. Oh, wow. You guys can start heading that way. I may bring them over here if needs be, but I'm hoping I don't actually need to bring them into this war.
I don't want everything there because if we can get places where they're going to actually get reinforced and food, that's better. A grand festival, superb. As long as I can reinforce relatively quickly, it's fine. Um, here might be better because it looks like we get more food from here. Oh, Moria, this war was foolish of you. I'm not complaining about you doing a foolish war, but it doesn't quite make sense what you did that you did it. They've got a lot of forces there. Yes, that's what we wanted. And next, I'm going to start on military stuff. I want to get, start moving down towards... Oh, I can get a Royal Guard already. I'm not going to do it just yet, but yeah. Royal Army, I think, so I've got permanent legions. I think is where we want to be. Starting to move. Nope! Everybody in, they're bringing up the forces, so this is where I bring everybody in, because they are likely to hit us. And if I can hold them and break them, that's ideal. If I can't, that's where it gets problematic. Soon. Yeah, It is going to be a hell of a battle if they come at me. They get the defender advantage being the problem. It's about whether this place falls. I want it to fall now. Basically. If they spread out, they have a hell of a lot of forces there. Buffing my siege ability seems like a very good idea. While we're sieging. Let's take it. They will give me all that territory. Moria, Moria, Moria. Why did you do that? <laughs> oh, wow. That worked well for us. There we go. Let's fire the mercs. I can get rid of some of these fortifications now. I'm still going to keep some because they're, they're still nice choke points, but I don't need as many. And some of the cities here I want to do some building in. As soon as I can. Kind of want to keep a double fortification there, but they can yeah, they can get around it. We'll be able to afford that shortly. There we go. Oh wow, they have no allies. They are going to get nommed up very, very, very shortly then. Um, in fact, I'm going to do that this time. Oh, wow, a Morian army did actually manage to get right in. Oh, they must have been mercs they hired. 
because I need them for another bit of a mission and I integrate them, bring them in and it's basically done. Let's speed five for just a little bit. I actually want the money so I can build this and this. <laughs> I'll take the stability to put myself up to the 50 we needed. Oh, Moria. Why Why did they do that? It was literally a, a suicide war. And it's actually made the defences easier in the future. Because I just put a couple of fortifications there. I don't even really need the one here. There's a couple of defences there, and I can hold the world off if I city one of those so I can up the levels of defence as well. Maybe the other thing I could do is that. Um, which means I can have another thing in there. Harsh treatment. I'm sorry, guys, but it's needed. I need to get them over 90. No point worrying about him. I am wondering if I should build, get myself a standing legion. Then again, my levies are great for the type of warfare we fight. Don't get me wrong, they're not great for standing battles, but... I don't need any allies in there. I'm not even going to be subtle, I'm going to siege this straight down. Really? I'm going to lose- oh, it didn't move both armies. Can afford the loss. All the grand theatres we can for the cultural conversion and the provincial loyalty buffs. And it's over. So I need the loyalty, and then I get to pick a side. Oh, I could technically do that one now. Which place is that? So I need to put them from another family. There we go. Done! Nice! I don't want to do that one, because we know that's up and around here. So the growth! There we go. This is kind of what I was staying for, so waiting for. So, you need a library for that one. I need food in those settlements. Where are the other two? Can't afford it just yet, but that'll come. 
I think I can actually afford to put my tax rate up, guys. Good God. My people are mostly happy. We are finally becoming stable. We are consolidating. We do still have chunks of Persia which need to be eaten, but, you know, that's a future thing. Oh! Interesting. So, Bactria got integrated. In which case, I want some territory up there, please. Go, what was the other one? Mines, but this shouldn't be too difficult a mission to do. The difficult bit of it's gonna be where I've got to do investments, which is why I've been saving them. I was very surprised if, with the way that Persia is at the moment, if um, Bactria doesn't split off and becoming independent from it. Back, they have been reduced so much in power, but that does mean that Persia can throw stuff at me from there. But then again, the Bactrian culture might not be integrated, so. And we need to make mines up here. Nice, that works well for us. The growth of Alexandria, there we go, just gives us Chinese, basically. It's a mission to do. And my income is through the roof. Just lovely. Yuck. She is really corrupt and needs removing from office as soon as I can, realistically. Oh, for smoking hell's sake. go that'll push it up enough that I can hopefully do something there shortly anyway guys that's where we're gonna leave it here as always thank you for watching an extra special thank you to my patrons and channel members as well and thank you to all of you guys for watching you are all awesome cheers guys thank you